What if I told you guys I have a guitar right here that's better than a Fender Player Series in nearly every single way and it's $200 cheaper. You might be thinking, well, Daryl, you probably found some sort of weird overseas brand that nobody's heard about. I don't know about that. Well, number one, yes, I do love doing that, but not today. This is a brand that every player will recognize. So it's from a brand name. It's $200 cheaper than a Strat and better in nearly every single way. What is it? Well, let's find out. Yes. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. I hope you're all having an excellent day today. So what exactly is this guitar that I think is better than a Strat in every single way? Well, here's the body. See if you guys have any guesses before I show you the headstock. Here it is. Here's the reveal. This is, there it is, Music Man Sterling Cutlass. Now, this is not just the basic Cutlass. I looked at that probably a couple years ago, maybe two, three years ago when it first came out, and that was one of my favorite budget picks. That's even a hundred dollars cheaper than this. So that the basic CT50 is like 300 bucks less than a Strat. Uh, this one has some special stuff going on. This is the CT50 Plus. So this is the Cutlass Plus. Uh, let's get into it, find out what this guitar is all about, uh, why I think it's better than a Strat, and of course, plug it in and listen to some tones. Right, so here are a few highlights that I think make this guitar better than a Stratocaster. Of course, I'll link to it down in the video description below. You can get full detailed specs down there, but here are some of my highlights. Number one, here they are, locking tuners. You will not find that on a Fender Player Series. Great feature, makes changing strings super easy. And if you use your tram a lot, you don't have to have like a ton of winds around your post that can you know tighten and slack in and do all that kind of stuff. Just keeps everything neat and tidy and organized. Great feature, and I love to see it on guitars, uh, increasingly in the budget category. Number two, roasted maple neck. You will not find this on your Player Series Strat. Beautiful satin, great profile as well. Very, very comfortable, beautiful neck on this guitar. Number three, well, let's go back to the headstock. No string trees, no tilt back. That's why I think Music Man design is probably the best in the guitar world. Just awesome. So if you use your tram a lot, um, which I like to do, no problems ever with a Music Man, no problems ever with a Sterling. And I'll show you guys right out of the box, this guitar just holds tune. No pinging in the nut as I use the bar. I sometimes check that too, just in case it's getting held up there. Nothing. And that has to do with uh, superior geometry on the Music Man. Next up, check it out. Rosewood fingerboard. And we got block inlays too for some, you know, a little makes the plus stand out a little bit from the crowd, which is cool. So yeah, no, um, you know, Pau Ferro that Fender sometimes uses. Um, you know, I'll play a Pau Ferro guitar, I don't really care, but I like the deep color of the rosewood and you get that here. Next up on the backside, you get Music Man's contoured heel joint. This is not something you will find on your Player Series Strat. Makes getting to the top very easy and comfortable and the neck is held on with the Music Man classic system of five screws. Very, very stable. Next up, we're back on the front because there's still a few more features I think that make this guitar better than a Strat. Number one, here we go, truss rod adjuster. Right there, it's the spoke wheel kind. Super easy to adjust your neck. You don't have to try to get it in between the strings or loosen the strings and take it off and tighten it up and adjust it and that kind of stuff. Just makes it so easy. You just, you know, if something's buzzing or you need to adjust your neck, you just adjust it right here in two seconds and off you go. That is a superior system for sure. Uh, simplified controls. Now, this is kind of a wash. Some people might like the simplified controls. Some people might want two different tone controls. Uh, for me, I think this is just simpler and better volume and tone, no messing around. So I like this very, very simple, very easy to use. Now, one of the biggest elements on the plus that makes it a plus is some electronics. You might notice, yes, we have a battery compartment here. Now, what that's for is a boost circuit. So that's what makes the plus a plus. And it's not push pull, it is push push just like on the high-end Music Man guitars. So this is a boost. Um, it boosts the mid frequencies and the volume. We're definitely gonna try that out. That is a feature that you only find on, yeah, pretty high-end or custom guitars. 
pretty awesome to see it on a guitar in this price tier. So yeah, push, push, super easy to use. You can just be, you know, doing your rhythm tracks and then you want a solo, just tap that, boom, you're off on your solo. So we'll definitely try that out. So those are some of the main highlights that I think make it stand out from a Fender. I could gush about the Trem system. It is awesome. It works so well. Every single Sterling, whether it was cheap or Music Man, if it was expensive, they all just work beautifully. It's a pop and bar with a set screw. So really, really great Trem system. But anyway, let's plug it in and take a listen to it. I want to try the boost circuitry out. I want to try, you know, see what the pickups sound like, all that kind of stuff. Here we go. Let's plug it in. Well, you guys, let's check out the new pickups in the Cutlass Plus. Now, one of the biggest upgrades, of course, is the active pickups and the boost circuit. So the idea is this guitar will handle gain maybe a little bit better than the regular Cutlass. So we'll see if that's true or not. Um, but yeah, when you see me tap that and the knob is out, that is boosted. When it's in, it's regular. So let's just start off with some regular chords, see what the, the pickups sound like. Yeah, you definitely get a huge thickening when you do this, like the frequencies of the chords all change. So that's really interesting and definitely some volume boost too. So I could see this being really useful if you're just playing some rhythm and you're playing clean or maybe with some light overdrive and then you hit that boost and you go into, you know, your solo. Thick and smooth and then you go back to your chords. And you know what, for active pickups, they sound really nice, like ch lots of chime. Really nice sounding pickups here for sure. And I love the, the humbucker single single. That's one of my favorite, most be mostly because you do still get position four, which is really nice. You know, on two humbuckers with a five-way switch and, and splitting and stuff, that's all good. There's great tones there, but uh, the humbucker single single is nice because you still do, you know, get that, that little quack and stuff that you just can't quite get on other guitars. So yeah, really good tones there. Okay, so yeah, boost switch, when you're playing clean, uh, hopefully I'm not peaking there because that's a pretty good, big volume boost. Let's try it with some gain because that's what it's really designed for. I just wanted to take a real quick spin through the clean tones, but let's add a little gain and see what uh, that does. <laughs>
So here are my thoughts on the active pickups, the boost circuitry, and the whole system and how it works together. Um, number one, at least for me, the boost circuitry is super useful. Not in every scenario, but here are the ones that I think would be um, most useful. Number one, clean or light overdrive. When you hit the boost, it thickens up your tone and it gives you obviously a little bump in volume. So when you go to solo, uh, whether you're playing clean or light overdrive, man, that makes a big difference. Now, if you're playing high gain, I think the boost is best off. And the reason for that is because it adds a ton of mids. And when you're playing like some chugging styles and that kind of stuff, you want real crisp um, tones. So I think um, when you're playing high gain, you heard me kind of putting the boost off and on at the end there. And I think when the boost was on, it really thickened the tone up in not a great way when you're playing with high gain. So that would be my recommendation if you're chugging and that kind of stuff. Uh, this humbucker absolutely can handle that. Sounds great. Um, but when you boost it, it definitely, yeah, thickens it up. So if you want to do some lead tones, hit the boost, get the thickness up high, almost sounds like a humbucker. Like some, in some ways when you boost it, it's like a real thick humbucker. And then when you go back to normal, it kind of goes to a chimey strat. So pretty cool stuff for sure. So I think the boost circuitry, number one is very useful, but for me in only uh, certain circumstances and the pickups overall sound really good. So even though they are active and they're supposed to be a little bit more um, aggressive or higher output, man, they sounded chimey to me clean. So really versatile. So here are my final thoughts on the Sterling Cutlass CT50 Plus. Now, before we talk about the Plus, I want to talk about the regular CT50 for a second. One of my favorite uh, kind of budget slash mid-range guitars uh, from a couple years ago. That is a fantastic instrument. It retails for $550. Now, a player series, just the basic player series, is $850. So the Cutlass is $300 cheaper than the Fender player series. And I think that basic version is better than a Strat because it's got the locking tuners, it's got the Music Man design, it's got, you know, roasted maple necks, truss rod adjustment, all that kind of stuff. Great tram system. So that's a great guitar. So that's $550, $300 cheaper than the Fender. This one here is $650. So this is a $100 add on. So what do you get for that $100? That's so still $200 cheaper than a basic you know, player series. So for that hundred bucks, you get the boost circuitry. I think that is the biggest one here. There's obviously the block inlays, you know, you get some, some, you know, different and special, uh, aesthetics on this with the colors, sort of like that blue gray and, uh, the block inlays. That's definitely a plus feature, but for me, it's the boost, the boost circuitry makes the difference. So that's, I think the dividing, uh, the deciding factor for this guitar, uh, do you like the boost circuitry? Do you like the aesthetics? Go with the plus. If you don't need any of that stuff, just go with the CT50. So very similar guitars in every single way, but yes, you get the upgraded electronics and the pickups and you get, yes, the block inlay. So overall, I highly recommend the Sterling Cutlass. The overall construction on this guitar is beautiful. Excellent fretwork down low, excellent fretwork up high. I should mention that. Uh, the nut is a plastic nut, but it's cut very, very well and zero tuning issues. And, you know, other than that, the Music Man design is tried and true. It's one of the, as I mentioned, one of the best designs I think ever made in terms of the geometry of what a guitar is and how it should perform. So there you guys go. Yes, beautiful guitar. Check them out if you haven't. Uh, try playing a Strat and this back to back because they do feel a little bit different uh, in the hand and that kind of stuff. So if you get a chance, try back to back. But I think the two or $300 difference uh, is gonna make uh, the deciding factor a lot easier and the feature set on these guitars. Uh, if Fender made this guitar, even the basic CT50, but if they made the plus with the, you know, the boost circuitry and stuff like that, uh, this is 650, what would Fender charge? 950? maybe a thousand dollars. There is such an upcharge. And like I said, Music Man is a super well-known brand. So this is not, you know, you know, some sort of uh, strange budget guitar. So yeah, beautiful instrument, highly recommended. Check them out. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed the guitar demo. If you did, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I will link to all the gear I used in my videos down in the video description below, along with the link to the guitar. Other than that, have yourself a great day. Take care.